Buenos dias, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to beautiful Bacalar. The weather is awesome. It's super warm again. The sun is shining. I haven't seen rain in Mexico for the whole week we are here already now. It's pretty much super hot all the time, like 32, 33 degrees at standard and in the sun at midday, I don't know, maybe almost 40 degrees or something. It's really super hot. So I gotta be careful with my skin here, you know, the sunburn is very, it's very quickly here. And yeah, always got my sun hat on and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I'm sitting here with this papaya is that I'm going to eat it, the whole papaya, for breakfast now. And I wanted to announce that I will try to make one week of raw vegan eating. Um, which means basically only fruits and some nuts and stuff like that, you know, for one whole week. And I will try to uh, make kind of a little body transformation thing, you know, after, before and after out of this. And I try to vlog, to make a little micro vlog from every day of this week. Um, so that I can track what I ate exactly in terms of how many fruits I ate, in terms of how many calories I ate. I will roughly try to track this with chron chronometer. Unfortunately, I don't have a scale here, so I can't really um, track how heavy these fruits are and I can't really, really track how heavy I am. So um, what I would expect is that I will get lighter during this process, of course, because when you're stepping on the raw vegan train, you know, then uh, all the hydration, you, you don't get any salt, you get very little fats, you get very little protein, so you basically trim down to what is necessary, okay? And what I should add here is that I didn't work out in the past week for the last seven days. I basically did only some, some easy swimming in the afternoon and maybe some easy jogging and walking around, but nothing in relation to climbing. And I plan to keep it like that for next week, for this raw vegan week. The reason why I do this is I like to do one um, two week block of doing nothing related to climbing once per year. Okay, so that all the tendons, all the joints and all that stuff has some time to regenerate. Because this stuff is always lagging behind a little bit your muscular development, you know. And this is how you get injured. You're getting stronger in your muscles, but your tendons are not ready for it and crank down really hard and then you get injured. So I think it makes sense to incorporate one two week block of um, rest once during your training year, you know, once in your training year so that all this stuff has some time to catch up. And the reason why I'm doing this here in Mexico is that it is actually possible here in Mexico. You, you, I, I checked out the local market now for a couple of times and I figured I always have the uh, opportunity to get enough calories of ripe, awesome fruit. And I mean, the fruit here is just awesome. You can't believe it. Sapotes, uh, mangoes, bananas, papayas. It's all super ripe, super sweet, high in calories, high in nutrients, and that's what you want, you know. I tried this as well um, at home in Austria. I was raw vegan there for about two months even, but I, I didn't get enough calories, you know. I got very slim very quickly. I lost a lot of weight because, you know, when you want to find ripe bananas there, it's already super hard. So, yeah, basically, the reason why I'm doing it here is because it's possible. Ripe fruit is available and additionally, it's also affordable. I think one daily portion of fruit here costs me about 10 euros or stuff. If I wanted to buy the same fruit in the same quality, same ripeness, same sweetness, same awesomeness in Austria, I would probably pay 50 euros per day, you know, with all this papaya and mango and uh, what, what not stuff, supporters. I don't even know if I can buy supporters in Austria. So that's that it's possible here it's affordable here i always wanted to do this anyway so yeah let's get started i'd say there we go let me show you how this is done so this is how actually ripe fruit should uh, look like you know this should be a lot of spots there maybe also some you know it, it has to be old actually it has to be soft sweet and almost looks like you can't eat it anymore okay look at that how easy this um, cuts through because it's so soft and this is the color of an actual papaya no almost red inside let's get the seeds out and this papaya just so that you have the info this papaya cost me about i don't know one euro maybe 
So you could basically eat 10 papayas per day and you spend 10 euros. I don't know if you get enough calories from 10 papayas. Mm. This is something I still need to find out. Papaya is definitely a good starter for the day, a good breakfast because it's so high in hydration. And you know, mm, water is actually quite expensive here in, in Mexico. Because you can't drink the tap water, of course. You have to buy it in, bot in bottles. And I think if you buy a bottle, if you buy bottles of water, it comes maybe more expensive even than getting your water from fruit like this um, papaya here, or for example from coconut water or something like that even. And this water is, is of course perfectly clean, it's filtered by the plant, and apart from some, I don't know, pesticides maybe, or stuff they use to grow this, it should be perfectly um, nice. And also the water that you buy in the bottles, I think it's treated somehow. So. Um, I think you're better off going with the fruit. Mm. Mm. So good. You know, at some point there comes the sea wind when the land heats up much quicker than the water. It's getting much warmer, the air is getting much warmer on the land, which means also it's getting lighter and that's why it's sucking the cold sea air into the land, you know, and this is how this um, sea wind comes into place every day, really reliable. In the morning, you don't have any wind, and the sun comes up, the land, heat, the land heats up, and then all the, all the time during the day, you're getting this sea wind, and in the evening, when everything cools down again, the wind is getting weaker again. And that's actually pretty, you know, convenient to have this wind because otherwise it would be even more hot you know the feeling of the heat would be even more strong I always try to take my time when I eat my first fruit of the day on the empty stomach because you know your stomach needs some time to upregulate all the digestive processes and especially if you smash in very sweet fruit at the beginning of the day very quickly you can get a little bit of a stomach ache because I think it's because of all the sugar you know and so there all your digestive system needs a little bit of time to catch up and it's not so much of a problem with papaya because it's not so sweet but if you're going with dates or bananas or mangoes or stuff like that you gotta take it a little bit easy you know all right I think I'll stop talking now and finish this papaya and catch you guys later and when I smash in the next fruit.